First okay. news. South Africa registers first official satanic church in Pretoria, South Africa. The first uh, satanic church in South Africa has now been officially registered. The co-founder of the satanic church says that the registration has been a four-year process. The church's mission uh, is reportedly to educate the public on common misconceptions about satanic practices. On social media, many South Africans expressed shock and fear, while others celebrated, claiming it was a win for freedom of worship. Um, can you, a lot of people, you know, we get really happy when the satanic church, like, has any success anywhere, and people get confused. People are like, I thought you guys are atheists, why are you supporting satanic church? Okay. It seems like, uh, it seems like I wait, mean, wait, why are you, why are no, you, why I, are you because I was, church? I'm correcting you, this is not the satanic temple, this is the church of Satan. Oh, this is the satanic church, not the satanic temple. Yeah, was, this oh, is like. You. Okay, good. So this is actually people the actually people who worship the devil like and they believe that the devil is real. Is that yeah, right? from from what I got in the article, it okay. says the Church of Satan, and they want to just like spread information, like uh, they want to spread information uh, awareness against the misinformation about Satanists. Mm. Uh, so okay, so I didn't know. Sorry, I th I was co completely confused because the Satanic Temple in the United States, at least, a lot of people think that they actually believe in the devil, but they're just mostly, uh, you know, uh, they are mostly atheists who are just using the Satanic Temple as a way to fight for secularism. And every time religion makes it into politics and into public schools and stuff, they're there to show up to scare out, the, scare the Christians to see the point of secularism. That's mostly the Satanic Temple in the United States. But you're saying this is not the Satanic Temple. I say, yeah, it says the Satanic Church. And the, so you're saying these people actually believe in God and the devil and they're on the side of the devil and they actually believe that? So is that true, Su Susanna? Is that what your understanding is as well? Um, so according to, I'm going to butcher this name because I don't, I'm not familiar with Dutch, but, um, his name is Ryan Swiglar. Um, he's the co-founder and he says the main philosophy of Satanism is undefiled wisdom of oneself and living completely free of guilt invoked by other religions as a result of natural human instinct. Okay. So um, we, that sounds more like the, the satanic temple in the united states that seems it like does human. it yeah it does but the end of the article uh, the article mentions like it is not clear if the church of satan in south africa will look to grow its members and expand into other countries which leads me to believe it's the church of satan not oh so it's separate temple. from the satanic temple okay so yeah. do we have any idea we don't know what they believe okay so we don't know um i mean if somebody knows in the live chat let us know uh, BG is saying, hail Satan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hail yourself. Um, hail me. <laughs> but, I mean, even... Okay, so here's the thing, though. I can still see this as somewhat of good news for South Africa. If they're allowing satanic churches to open, it shows a level of tolerance by both politi politicians and the community for somebody... I mean, you know... So, for example, if you are... We don't have to endorse their beliefs to see this as progress, right? So, for example, if in Saudi Arabia, they all of a sudden allow Christians to openly display their crosses in the in churches in everywhere. Like, there are Christians in Saudi Arabia, but you cannot, like, have crosses out in the open in the public or stuff like that. You can't, right? Um, if they go from not allowing that to allowing that, you don't have to be... If you say, okay, that's great progress, that shows more tolerance, more accepting of um, ideas against Islam and, you know, in Saudi Arabia, that doesn't mean that you're endorsing Christianity, okay? So in the same way, given how scared people, of, of people are of the satanic church and everybody else, every, and people that, you guys need to meet yourself when I'm, I meet myself when I'm talking, you guys don't need to meet yourself when I'm talking. Because there's so, you guys have too much background noise, by the way. Anyway, so I think that the satanic accepting the satanic church is a good is a good indicator that there is a high level of tolerance in the country. It it would be even a better indicator once they accept atheists, right? That's the highest level of tolerance, right? Because we are the bottom of the um, yeah list. 
But the lowest of the low. <laughs> lowest of the low. Susanna, did you get any information on what, what these people believe? So I'm looking up more about them, and the first thing that comes up is how they are <laughs> saying hell no to gatherings. So, <laughs> um, uh, the church council, because in regarding to COVID lockdowns, the church council has decided that we will not have gatherings or rituals or Bible study meetings until there is a drastic decrease in the number of people infected. As Satanists, we first and foremost hold science and rational thought to be indicating factor in determining the safety of our congregation. So it's, wait, they, the organization adheres to LaVey's nine satanic statements, which is, which formed the introduction of the satanic Bible. Um, oh. Yeah. I was looking for my okay, so Bible. and so I honestly get the two of them confused and conflated all the time. If, so Levey actually, yeah, that's the, the Church of Satan is the one who actually worshipped the devil, and Satanic Temple is the atheist one. But here's I I found some other another article. Wait, let me just give it in the uh, YouTube live chat as well. It says it specifically says the Church of Satan is up and running in South Africa. Okay, okay. I'm gonna read. Where is the com? Hold on, let me check out the top comments when on our Facebook post on this. Okay, Shopa, mute yourself now. There's too many backgrounds. And when you're speaking, it's good, but when you stop speaking, there's this zzz noise that is really annoying. It's fine now. Uh, the top comment is saying, LOL, I am a resident of South Africa and we haven't heard of this. Why do people say that? Like, okay, then it like. Are you the all-knowing like, oracle? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it, I have not heard of this. So, yeah, okay, so it, that just says that you've been haven't been following the news. I don't understand. This article that. says that they do not worship the devil. Oh, really? The okay. one that I'm looking at. Were, which one? I mean, I uh, uh, sent a link in the YouTube live chat which says the Church of Satan. So that's what. But that could just be they, what they call themselves, though. But this guy also claims to be a psychic medium. <laughs> okay. So okay. there's a lot going on. So this okay. person... But this we person, know that it's not the satanic temple. Okay. Yes. So it's possible that they're not the satanic temple, but there's still another version of satanic groups that don't actually believe in the devil, but they're just using the symbol uh, symbolism yeah. to... To fight against Christianity and also, I mean, I support that. I, I like that. It's you could be poetic with your anti-religious uh, stuff. It's fine. Um, anyway, so this top comment continues saying, besides, if it were true, no one would care. Real, like, why people think like their attitudes represent the entire country? So apparently, this person, which has a name that I cannot net, lick, get though, he thinks like he's the ambassador of South Africa. And because he doesn't care about this news, then he's speaking on behalf of all people in South Africa and saying that they don't care. Apparently, he represent he knows what all of them think, and he's representing them here in the comment section. Um, and then he continues saying, "Let them play with their demons and spells." Yeah. Okay, thank you for allow. Thank you for your permission, Lek Gesso. <laughs> um, we were we were just waiting for that. They were waiting for that. <laughs> They were not going to play with the demons and spells until your approval. Thank you. Uh, Chris is saying, just as daft as every other church, at least this has a sense of humor. It's not as daft as every other church if they don't believe in these stuff. Um, so, no, don't, I don't agree. Like, people just make assumptions. At least if I don't know something, I keep saying, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but people just keep, just make assumptions. You just make assumptions and they just run with it. And they just make endless conclusions based on assumptions that they have no idea if it's true or not. Uh, you, you, you like how much I shit on our own community and their comments? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why mm -hmm. we, we keep losing our fans. Lies mm -hmm. saying... <laughs> Lies is saying the level of ignorance displayed here is astounding, and she's not clarifying if the level of ignorance that she's re uh, referring to is in the news article or in the comment section. So it could be. Uh, Michael is saying Satanists are community. Or co oh, hi, Michael. Marcus Sherlock in the live chat. Yay! In the Facebook live chat. Um, I don't, 
yeah, go, check out, go check out Michael's books and his activism is real good. Uh, he's saying Satanist, Satanists are commonly into occult woo based on early Christian Gnosticism, which believed Yahweh was the deceiver. Yeah, there's there's a shit ton of different kind of Satanists. There's some of them that it, it does. We don't like. Yeah, really have to ask people what they mean when they say that because a lot of them are atheists. A lot of them are completely not you know do not believe in any woo stuff a lot of them do a lot of them actually literally worship the devil so it's really you have to really be specific about what you're talking about they're fun to talk uh, about though i i like the symbol yeah the doorknob head in the youtube live chat was saying that he never heard of the church of satan worshiping act actual devil but they have like night ceremonies and believe in natural magic and stuff like they don't worship the actual devil but have ceremonies and stuff that's right yeah somebody said mike is saying i'm quieter than the rest i put the microphone closer this software that we use doesn't have audio levels for me to control so i don't know what to do um let me know if it's better now is it better? Yes. thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 